How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast, our 2017 Payback Predictions episode. We're your Canadian Days WWE podcast that talks about the WWE and No Holds Barred, and we say pun intended. Guys, you can check the podcast out on Spreaker.com slash NHBWP. We're also available on YouTube at YouTube.com slash NHBWR. We're also available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio by searching up The Lowdown Show. So go check us out wherever is easier and convenient for you to listen to us. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at NoHoldsBarredWP. And you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook by searching up NoHoldsBarredWP. I am your host... The self-proclaimed greatest host, Kyle Masters. And I am joined by my corporate co-host. He is the blissful boss, Mr. Corporate himself, Corporate Cappy. Not blissful for payback, I'll tell you that. No, this is a very unblissful payback, to say the least. Um, God, I'm not looking forward to it. I think I'm looking forward to like two matches, maybe three at most. But it just it looks bad. It's bad. Payback is always... When is payback ever a good pay-per-view? Never. Never. So didn't didn't Punk have a good match at Payback once with Jericho? I think so. That's because it was Punk's return and it was in Chicago. That's the only reason why it was good. <laughs> I can't. Maybe the uh, the Evolution in uh, Shield match was good. I think that's the only only thing I could think of. But whatever. Hopefully Payback shows us something this week that you know. Hopefully we can say, oh, it was a good show. We'll see. Anyways, it's our predictions podcast, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get into that, there are two ways to support the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. And those two ways are on GoFundMe. GoFundMe.com slash NHB2Mania. And it's solely based on me or myself and Corporate Cappy on getting to WrestleMania 34. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the whole story there if you want to check it out and read it. And anything helps, any donation, if you want to support the podcast, it goes towards us getting to Mania next year. And we got a lot of plans in store for when we go to WrestleMania next year. So that's one way you can support us. Another way is patreon.com slash NHBWP. As little as a dollar a month supports the podcast and what we do here. And I'm working on some stuff to uh, give to those Patreon members and uh, and working on uh, basically what you get for donating a certain amount. So stay tuned for that. So those are the two ways you can support the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. And the links will be in the description below on YouTube. So go check that out. All right. Get the plug out of the way. Let's get into the predictions. Be back. We'll start off with you got a kick kickoff pre show segment. We got a, a segment and a match announced for payback. <sighs> so the segment is the Miz TV with Finn Balor. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell that's going to be about. I thought Finn Balor was in line to do something with uh, Bray Wyatt, unless Bray Wyatt has a tie into this, but whatever. Maybe Finn Balor gives him a coup de grace and whatever. That's the segment. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm not too sure what the hell that's going to be about. So yeah, that is the. Uh, you can't really predict what's going to happen with that. Sure, no. maybe maybe, maybe Bray Wyatt shows up. What else is there to say? <laughs> it's in the pre-show. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, next pre-show is a pre-show match. And it's announced Enzo and More and Big Cass will face the club in the pre-show match. So Enzo and More is actually going to get a bit of TV time and actually a match wow. from this week on Raw. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. If I had to pick a winner here, I'd say the club wins. The club? Maybe the Miz TV and the club have this have something to do here. Maybe Finn Balor turns feel here. Who knows? I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just a thought. It probably won't happen. It's just a thought. But uh, yeah, if I, I'm picking the club over Enzo and Cast. <laughs> well, Enzo got completely destroyed last week on Raw. I don't think he's gonna be 100. percent I don't either. So I'm picking the club too. Yeah. But. Because it's in the pre-show, I could see the face. Because the faces seem to always win on the pre-show. <laughs> it's so true. So you know what? I'm going with Enzo and Cass. Oh, changing the prediction. I'm we saying change. they they get their revenge on the club. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, next, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Uh, Roman Reigns is supposed to be coming back from injury. We'll see how banged up he is. He's been actually at live events wrestling Braun Strowman, and he's been taped up and stuff at live events. But he still found a way to win the matches. <laughs> of course, this is probably a preview for what we're going to get at Payback. And I'm telling you, I said it in the Lowdown Show this week, guys. I'm still going this prediction. Braun Strowman is going to own the first half of the match. Roman Reigns is going to come back, and he's going to win clean. 100%. And I'm picking Roman Reigns. I can't say I disagree with anything you just said. I mean, Roman Reigns, look what Braun did to him. Throwing him off the stretcher and... 
throwing them. But it's gonna again knowing WWE. WWE over. It's typical. Like not... it's typical Roman re- super Roman gonna get uh, his revenge on Braun. Yep. So I'm picking. Unfortunately, I'm picking Roman no Reigns man too games. because. It's unfortunate because Braun's doing such great work right now, but it's going to be the Buried Alive match of yep. Braun Strowman. <laughs> Buried Alive match on Sunday, guys. You heard it here first. Uh, next, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. That's one of the matches I'm looking forward to. I think it's going to be a really good match, man. It looks like Seth Rollins is 100%. Samoa Joe is obviously 100%. This is a real grudge match. goes back to uh, Samoa Joe hurting Seth Rollins. And I, I'm intrigued for this match. I'm, re- I'm really stuck on who could win this match. I'm picking Samoa Joe. I got this. I'm going with my gut feeling, my first instinct. I'm going with Samoa Joe. I think he's going to win. I think he's going to beat Seth Rollins here. I think Triple H even makes an appearance in this match. That's just my prediction. And who are you picking? I pick Samoa Joe. God, this is going to be a good match. I think I think this is going to be the match of the night. Yeah. Joe and Rollins. It's tough. It's so tough to pick a winner. It's so evenly matched. That's why I'm looking forward to it. I think, but I got the, my gut saying Samoa Joe. I, I think I think Joe needs the win. Yeah. More than Rollins does because Rollins, he won at WrestleMania against Triple H, and now Joe needs a big win to establish himself as the you know big time. Yeah, it's his first pay per view. Yeah. So I think I think there's no way Joe loses this match. Actually, no. I'm picking Joe. Yeah. I hope I hope so. Triple H. <laughs> Honestly, defeat, I hope so. I I don't think he needs to. Honestly. That's like a 50-50 for me. I'm only saying there's a 50% chance he makes an appearance. But Joe, I think, needs this win. Yeah. Maybe like hit the music hits. His music hits. We yeah, don't see Triple H. Him. Yeah. yeah. Um, Raw tag team title match. Cesaro and Sheamus with the Hardys. The other match I'm looking forward to. Uh, interesting to see if, if Hardy will even be broken. Uh, there's the rumors that they're be settled with TNA. We'll see what happens. But maybe we won't see the uh, broken, fully broken mat until Raw. Um, this is going to be a good match. It's a ladder, It's not a ladder match. No, it's not. Um, should be. I think it should have been a ladder match. This would have been good as a ladder match. As what? A ladder match. This should have been a ladder match. Is it not? Am I wrong? Is this a ladder match? Because the 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 sheet I have here says it's just raw tag team title match. I don't I think it's a ladder. Match. I don't think it's a ladder match. If it's not, why why isn't it? Because they just had one a mania. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to hurt the Hardys too bad. I guess I don't want to look for yeah, it. Yeah, I guess they don't want to have Jeff kill himself. Already. Anyways, uh, it all depends. I think my my thing is I think they're only they're going to base it on if they get the deal done with TNA. If they do, I think they're going to lose the titles, and Matt will finally split up from Jeff and become broken. If not, I think the Hardys win here and claim and, and regain the titles, and they're going to roll with Matt and Jeff more with the champions because they're good as champions right now. I, I don't know. I think they're going to keep continue the Hardy Boys for a while, at least like another month or two, and yeah. then do the broken thing. But, I mean, I'm fine with them doing what they're doing now. I mean, Matt with his borderline personality is kind of fun. <laughs> it's hilarious. And maybe this leads to Cesaro and Sheamus breaking up. Who knows? I don't know, but I think this is going to be a good match as well. If it's anything what we've seen yeah. from the singles matches. I'm picking the Hardys, together. though. I'm picking the Hardys. I think Hardys will retain. I'm going to pick them, too. Yeah. Move on. I'm actually intrigued for this match. A lot of people say they won't be, but whatever. That's their opinion. Cruiserweight title match. Austin Aries versus Neville. I think Austin Aries is going to win the title here. I honestly think that he got basically screwed at WrestleMania. I think he's they're finally going to switch over the title. Neville is kind of getting dull as a champion right now. I think this is where Austin Aries wins it. I think they shafted them on the pre-show at Romania, yeah. which was upsetting. This but... isn't on a pre-show, thank God. Um, but I think that I think Neville loses the title here to Austin Aries. And I think Perkins is going to get involved in this match, and also Jack Gallagher is going to get involved. Um, but I think Austin Aries wins this match. God, we're thinking alike today. I'm going with Aries too. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good prediction. I mean, Neville's carried it for a while. I think it's time for him to give it up for a bit and then win it back again. Yeah. I think Aries needs it because I think he's the most established guy in that division, mm-hmm. and I think he deserves it. So I'm picking Austin Aries for the yeah. win. I hope it happens, man. Austin Aries will be a sick champion. I, I can see a lot of good things with Austin Aries. His championship with his banana? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, moving on to a cross-branded match. Every United States championship match. Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. And the thing with this is, is whoever wins will become a SmackDown superstar. But with the rumors of Chris Jericho done after payback, it's all so obvious of what's going to happen here. Kevin Owens wins the United States championship. Um, I'm I don't really need to talk about. It. I think it's gonna be a good match, but Ev Owens is winning. I can't, I can't really make an argument that Jericho could win this match. 
No, I mean, especially after everything that said that he's leaving after payback. Mm. How is he going to win this match? And it wouldn't make sense for him to go over to SmackDown and then where's Owens going? Yeah, because it said that only the champion comes. He's gonna become Heath Slater and just kind of be the free agent guy. Like no, that's not happening. No, I mean Owens is winning. It'll be a good swan song for Jericho. I think it should yeah. be an okay match. I think it'll be a good match, but you know, Owens retains and goes along to feud with Styles for the United States Championship. It, just, it doesn't make sense for Jericho to win here. It, whatever. It's 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 whatever. It's a good goodbye for Chris yeah. Jericho. Moving on to the Raw Women's Title, Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. I don't know. <laughs> I want my girl to keep it, but then I don't like I, sh- I don't like her right now as the women's champion. So if Alexa Bliss has to win, she has to win. But if we're going predictions, I'm saying Bailey retains. I don't think Alexa's winning it just yet. I think uh, I'm I'm seeing my gut's telling me SummerSlam is going to be a triple threat: Bailey versus Alexa versus Sasha. Great. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing I'm seeing. I don't think Bailey loses the title yet. I, I'm calling her to retain her hometown. She's in her hometown. I know everybody likes to bury people in their hometown. I don't think it's going to happen. I think Bailey's going to retain here. Unfortunately, I have to. I think I have to agree with you. I think it's too early to give Sasha. I mean, Sasha. Fuck. Alexa, <laughs> the title already coming over, just like Charlotte on SmackDown. I yeah. don't think they should be getting the titles right away on their. Well, if they didn't show. do it, Charlotte, I don't think they're going to do it, with Alexa. I don't think so. But, I mean, she's doing such a good job already that, yeah. like, I wouldn't be shocked if they did give it to her because she's been the most interesting woman on that show already. Yeah, again, I, I, I wouldn't mind Bailey not having the title right now because she's cringe with it and it's pissing me off because I actually like her. So yeah, I think Bailey needs to be in a chasing role, not... Ha- Ooh, yeah, sorry, it, it not fits her underdog role. persona. Yeah. She can't be an underdog with the title. That's why I said before in previous podcasts, if she's going to have the title, she cannot be persuaded... Or- Perceived, perceived as an underdog and playing this still under underdog character. It, it's cringe and it's terrible. It's making her look Champions bad. Aren't underdogs? God, this doesn't make sense. If, she, if she's trying to be like the John Cena of the women's division, she has to act like when John Cena is champion. When John Cena is champion, he's a cocky bastard. It's like I'm always looking for a good fight. You know, I, I I work so hard and blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like John Cena when he's champion, he's almost cocky. Bailey's not cocky. She's like, oh, it's been a dream of mine to have this title, and you know. Oh, oh, you're gonna beat me! I'm scared. Oh, you know, it's just—it's cringe. It's terrible. I can't even make an impression of Bailey because it's just bad. I'm going with Alexa, and I've just. Oh, you're going with Alexa? I mean, sorry, no, I'm okay. not. Okay, my heart. I'm going with, with Alexa. Alexa for my corporate pick. I'm going with Bailey. Bailey, and I just read something that Alexa Bliss has leaked photos. Somewhere. Out of today? Yeah. Whoa! But apparently, she's gone on Twitter and said that they're completely bogus, and she wants them removed immediately. Nah, whatever. So. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Uh, House of Horrors match, main event. Oh, House. Of- I mean, it's not a main event, but oh you know, this last God. match we're talking about. Uh, it's, I, it is a House of Horrors because it's horrible. And it's rumored, I'm reading this now, or out of reports of this week, that it's not even going to start in the ring or backstage. We're going to get like production <laughs> oh my to God. start this match. It's going to be the white compound or oh. maybe the burnt down house. The, the word is going to start inside the burnt down house of Randy Orton burnt. I don't know. Oh Who knows? Maybe we see Sister Abigail. Maybe we don't. Um, I think this is going to be... I, I just gut feeling it's going to be bad. This match is going to suck bad. because it's the end of the feud. One of them's on Raw. One, one of them's on SmackDown. It's not for anything. Yeah. There's no title in the line. Why do we even need to have this match? <laughs> it's going to be as good as the CGI we had at WrestleMania. <laughs> but if I'm picking a winner, let's just think winner-wise here. I want Bray Wyatt to win. But gut saying Randy Orton's beating Bray Wyatt here. <laughs> it's, oh God! I'm going with Bray. I think oh. because it's not for the title, they're finally gonna have Bray beat Orton. I love that, but I still think they're gonna bury. They bury Bray Wyatt so far. I'm going with the the corporate. Yeah, they're gonna bury him again. Pick. I'm picking Randy Orton. He's gonna win. It's gonna be cringe. I'm like, fuck, whatever. I don't give a shit about this match. And this is the main event. No, it's not. It's, I say it was the main event because that's the oh. last thing we were talking about. I think, you know, the main, main event is Roman and Strowman. Uh... Roman's in the main event. He's back. He's gonna be in the main the event. The big dog is back. And I'm sure Juggy would love that. He uh, will love that. I don't know. The feud was so good for so many months, and then they ruined it at Mania, and then they ruined it with this House of Horrors match. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter anymore because they're both on separate brands. So it doesn't lead to anything. It's the end of their feud. Yep. I just don't care. Me either. Don't care. Especially because Jinder stole the title. <laughs> That's why they're not having a title match. It's because he stole the title. 
<laughs> Great pay per view. Yeah. I'm expecting to give it like a two out of ten. Yeah, probably two out of ten. We'll see. <laughs> so in saying that, we'll see what happens, and that's going to wrap it up, guys, for our pr- payback 2017 predictions right here on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. You're we are your Canadian based WWE podcast that talks about the WWE and No Holds Barred and anything we say. Pun intended. Yep, this episode will be posted on Spreaker at Spreaker.com slash NHBWP. And after it will be posted on YouTube, youtube.com slash NHBWR. And it'll also be available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio by searching up the Lowdown Show. So go check us out wherever it's easier and convenient for you to listen to us. You can follow the podcast on Twitter at NoHoldsBarWP. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram by searching no it's by WP so go guys and give us a follow you guys know how to support the podcast all links will be down in the YouTube description for you, for, for you guys I am your host the self-proclaimed greatest host Kyle Masters and I'm continuing to be joined by my co-host the blissful boss Mr. Corporate himself Corporate Cappy yep. see you next time and we sing our songs and we just stay-